Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video. And today we're going to talk about what is actually needed to connect Recycle to your samplers. And it's pretty straightforward after a long and, um, you know, struggling process to get this working. I finally found, you know, a way that it works perfectly. So the first thing you need is obviously on the back of your sampler, you've got a SCSI connector. Now, it depends on your SCSI connector. Some have 50 pin, some have 25 pin, some have ultra wide. You just have to find out what type of SCSI connector is on the back of your sampler. Next, you're going to need a SCSI lead. And that SCSI lead is going to connect to a SCSI card, which is another thing you have to buy for your computer. You can get the SCSI cards quite cheap online. Um, I use uh, an Adaptec one, uh, which, is, uh, which I'll put up on the screen here. Um, and uh, the Adaptec one connects into your computer. Now, here's where the tricky bit comes. There's quite a bit of configuration. I have done some videos on what you need. You need to get an ASPI driver. Uh, in order for some SCSI cards to work, especially like the Adaptec ones. Now, you, you will need to get also to be using Windows 7, in, in my case, 32-bit. It will not work with the 64-bit version. It has to be the 32-bit version. Once you've got that all set up, you get your ASPI drivers and you have to put the ASPI driver inside your recycled directory. There will be some drivers, I believe, already in there. I have, again, done some videos on my trials and tribulations getting that to work. So if you subscribe to my channel or look, search my videos for Akai uh, Recycle working. The next thing, uh, Recycle 1.7 to 2 will work if you're on a Mac. Uh, you're going to struggle. You're better off going to use an old G5 or something just to do all your SCSI transfers. I've got a separate PC down there which is a Gigabyte UD3 LR motherboard and it's got PCI slots because remember SCSI cards have, PCI, have a PCI connection so if you're using, an, the best thing to do is to use an old PC, have that configured. I've got that in the corner there. One more quick addition to that as well, guys. You can use other software like Translator 6, which I find is, is okay to use with the, uh, with, with, the, with the samplers, but it's not as smooth um, in terms of, uh, you know, chopping up beats and making up kits and stuff. Um, and also, one that works a treat with Akai samplers um, is the Mesa. I use version 2, and version 2 seems to work really good with it, and I could use that to transfer samples to and from my Akai, uh, you know, even in WAV format, from WAV on the computer, and you can just dump it onto the sample and it sounds lovely. So, yeah, I hope that helps. So once you get all your SCSI cables connected up, you'll then need to go into your recycle, and then you need to go to the preferences, and you'll see in the preferences there's also sampler settings. You go into your sampler settings, and just go find all samplers, and it, it should search. Uh, and find your sampler and I'd, I'd suggest and recommend before you do that actually go into your device manager and make sure you look under other devices to see if you see the sampler connected also as well when you're booting your computer up your Adaptec card will find your sampler it's, so you should see your Akai S3000 or 3200 whatever come up on the screen while it's booting up and it will also find any internal compact flash card drives that you've got in there or maybe your IME guy etc it will find all that you also have to bear in mind as well to make sure that if you're using a zip drive make sure uh, that you wire it in such a way that your computer goes out it comes out from your computer into the zip drive then through the zip drive and then into your sampler but just make sure on your zip drive you turn off the termination because SCSI termination means that there's nothing else past that point so it won't see uh, your other device and it can also cause some sort of SCSI malfunctions anything from SCSI blown fuse on your Akai etc so all these this is just a summary of what you need to make all this work uh, there are some other support videos that I've done regarding this in, in my journey getting this set up and I just thought I'd just do a quick rough summary and that video goes out to Dexterous Manipulator who posted up a question hi busy can you explain what is needed to configure the whole setup I really want to get into this workflow. Cheers, mate. So that's what you need, mate, to get into the workflow. I hope this video, I hope you found this video useful. If you like more, want to see more videos on Akai setup, etc., please smash that like button. Please like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a